Frosty was careful to stay far away from the flames. Hocus, we've got to find someone to help Karen get home before she freezes and me to the North Pole before I melt. But who? No, not the Marines. No, not the President of the United States. Oh, they were both swell ideas, but we've got to find someone nearby. Yeah, Santa Claus. That's a great idea. Why didn't I think of that before? Hocus, you go back with the animals. And when Santa comes, you bring him right here. Understand? Hurry now! And so Frosty kept a silent vigil, waiting patiently all through the night until Santa would arrive. But suddenly... Oh, a campfire. Well, isn't that all snug and comfy? <laughs> <sighs> no, don't! Now, give me that hat or else. Or else what? Uh, well, don't bother me with details. Give me that hat. <laughs> Get on my shoulders, Karen. You see, Frosty, since he was made of snow himself, was the fastest belly whopper in the world. <laughs> and old Professor Hinkle was soon far out distanced. 